Okay guys, this has to be one of the best sandwiches in our house. We call this the life-changing sandwich, but for you guys, we're gonna call it the spicy Spanish burrata melt. Let's jump right into it. So everything I picked up for this recipe, I found at Trader Joe's. We're gonna be using mini heirloom tomatoes or cherry tomatoes. We're gonna be using some fresh garlic, some burrata, some Spanish chorizo, and some Spanish, it's a cured ham. You can get that at Trader Joe's as well, and some ciabatta rolls. I have a couple things not pictured here, but to get started, we're gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees in a Pyrex we're going to add some garlic those beautiful cherry tomatoes a little bit of salt and then I actually like to add some chipotle peppers these are dried they are so good they have a wonderful smoky flavor and then there is this great seasoning I got at Whole Foods I will link down below but it's um, Aleppo and sumac blend it's very spicy but it's also very smoky with things like smoked paprika and garlic pepper so we're gonna throw that into the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven. You wanna be watching this. The best thing, um, piece of advice I can give you is make sure that everything is very well coated in olive oil, otherwise it will stick to your Pyrex. Once that's done, we're gonna pull it out of the oven. Look how delicious that looks. I'm gonna be removing about two or three tablespoons of the garlic and we're gonna set that aside. To get started with our sandwich, we are going to add a little bit of olive oil to a cast iron skillet and then we're gonna to lightly toast the ciabatta. The the reason I love to do this is as all the oils soak into this ciabatta, it also has a nice crunch to it. You guys are just going to love this. Now that everything's toasted, we're going to build our sandwich. On one side, I like to do the bottom. We're gonna be using a Sir Kensington's Chipotle Mayo, or you can make your own. And on the other, I'm going to be adding about one tablespoon of that fresh, delicious roasted garlic. This part's my favorite because the garlic just gets into all the nooks and crannies of the sandwich, and each bite is an absolute surprise. From there, I'm gonna be adding on some microgreens that are spicy. I picked those up at Whole Foods, but you can also get them at Trader Joe's. And then about three ounces of the ham and chorizo. Again, you can pile on as much as you can if you want more, that's just about how much I do. And then on the top, I'm gonna to press in our roasted tomatoes and garlic. My favorite part is smashing that delicious burrata right in there, cutting this and absolutely devouring it. I hope you guys enjoy this. Definitely tag me over on Instagram when you make this so you can tell me how this sandwich changes your life like it did ours. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye.